Hey guys, and welcome back to AI War. I am C for Cat, and we are about to be attacked at Garen, in fact. There's going to be oh, some bombers and some starships heading here, so we've got some reinforcements coming that way, 186 to be precise, and we don't know where they're coming from. In fact, we can probably figure that out. In fact, we probably... We want some of the defences to be here near this golem, and we want some of them to be over here. In fact, can we build a... It's supposed to be something that'll tell me where they're coming from, but I don't know if I have to research it or not. Uh, what is it called? It's not the mini fortress. There's a thing that does it. Advanced warp sensor. I have to research it. Okay, never mind. If I built the advanced warp sensor, it would show up the planet that they were coming through in orange, but... I'm not really in a position that I'm too concerned about that. Now, I've been thinking about this game over the last week or so, what I was thinking is I need to build some leech starships. Leech starships are great because when you kill something, uh... Anyway, as I was saying, leech starships are great because when they kill something, it actually turns what you kill over to your side. So it's quite a nifty little tool. Um, and I thought if I can get some of those tachyon microfighters, if they come along with any stealth ships, that might... You know, I'll steal the tachyon microfighters and then I'll have stealth ships. Well, I can detect stealth ships. Anyway, this golem is slowly building. Now this golem just shoots things. It's really going to be much like the bombardment cruisers, uh, bombardment ships, they're not cruisers, uh, that it's really going to be acting as a, you know, ship destroyer. It's not going to be doing much else, but if there's one thing golems are good at, it's destroying ships. We're still running low on uh, resources, that's bothersome. And we should have a research facility somewhere that is not researching. Where is that? Ah, uh, so we do not speak of this place. Okay. Once the uh, advanced research facility has picked up the research it needs, it is then completely relevant and it doesn't matter what happens to it anymore. And you know what? We can destroy this ship hacker. It's done what it needed to do. Alright, so yeah. That's good. And within 16 seconds we're about to have some new friends! But we have 300 ships here, and we've got some ships at Mantis as well, just in case they break through that gate. I may actually have them come up a little bit further up, just in case we need to. And here they come! They have come from Subject Zero. They were going to Mantis, but they backed off once they saw that. And we've got them in a nice little pincer maneuver. I like that. They now have 139 bombers, and it is a flagship. 128 ships. Those bombers could actually tear through that uh, force field, so hopefully we destroy them now. There's only 100 left. That's actually a lot more than I want. No, they're backing off from something. Okay, they've given up that and they're going to see if they can sort of regroup somewhere else, I feel. Uh, which is good. I think I've re... No, now they've just given up trying to run. Okay, well the AI is just very indecisive at the moment. I'm okay with an indecisive AI. So it's just trying to destroy what it can, but yeah, okay, that attack has been thwarted. Now, Nocturne. We've got a whole bunch of guys here, and I probably want them to move to Garen, because our next attack is at Scoots. Why Scoots? Well, because they've got an advanced research facility. And as we've discussed previously, those we need. Because those give us new ships. And... Yeah, that's... That's victory right there. What we might do is we might build an engineer or two, just to... What are they shooting at? Oh fuck! I mean, darn! Okay, Devourer Golem just came through. Everyone back away, back away from it. Oh, I don't know how many ships we just lost, but it would have been a few. And now it's just going to go to Mercury? Yeah, you go to Mercury! You get out of here! Oh gosh, that was... Oh, that's the way I wanted to go as well. Well, actually, if that's the way I wanted to go, perhaps... Oh, with a Mark III Ion Cannon, maybe that could be a bad idea to charge in like that. I was thinking maybe this would be the perfect time to attack, but... Not with a Mark III Ion Cannon, because that's going to destroy literally every type of ship I have. Uh... How are we going with raid starships, actually? that's This is a plan. If we get enough raid starships, we can always rush them with those. Where are my raid starships? Uh, search. We're looking for raid starships. They should be here somewhere. Raid starships. Where are they? Oh, we got to click on it. Okay, we've got two at Jove. Alright, so we're waiting for that third one. What we might do is we might raid starship and get that 
ion cannon out of the way. If we can do that, then we can move the main fleet in. Is there anything I need to be worried about before doing that in? Orbital mass driver. The hell is an orbital mass driver? Shit. Okay. Never mind. They've got something that does heavy damage to starships. So what we might do... <laughs> does this... Capture on planet ownership change. Okay, new situation, new plan. We just rush this base. Uh, is this base protected in any way? They've got an AI fortress. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a dick of a place to attack. Uh, it is not protected. It's protected by a level two. Sh no, it's not protected at all. Oh, they do have a nuclear eye though. And so, if we outnumber the. AI 2 to 1, which is going to be very easy right now since the Devourer Golem just... Man, that Devourer Golem really screwed me up just then. Because now I easily outnumber them 2 to 1. And I wanted... To... So... I would have 30 seconds... To destroy 400 million... Uh, hit points. Okay, so we're not doing that anytime soon, because that is just a ridiculous number. So what we might do instead is we might grab these scouts. Let's see if we can go a different way for now. Uh, let's see... Well, burrito? Is anything good? Burrito? More resources. You know what? That's a good a place to attack as any right now. Although we're going to get this golem up very soon, so... That's going to be good. Okay, they're just going to go off and protect those, uh, repair those ships. Alright, well you guys, you can go to Mantis. Burrito is not a place that we necessarily need to attack, but... It's got... Oh wait, it's got an eye, does it? Sentry eye. What is a sentry eye? Oh, they're gonna get to France though. What? Is there anything good in France? Uh... Not seeing anything at a glance. France, there is... Ah, electric bombers. Actually, never mind, there is something very good there. Okay, so, normally you can only research up to level 3. Once you've researched up to level 3, you can't build level 4 <coughs> until you've got an advanced factory, which, of course, the AI have all of those. But when you capture it, if you advance research up to 3, you can then build level 4 ships of that type. So, that's something we're looking for, but I haven't found any of those yet. Actually, we need to destroy this core shield generator. That'll wipe out the AI's shields, like for their home base. Not the ones that I need to do a lot of damage to, but right now the AI, even if I took out those 80 million uh, shield or health shields, they're still going to be invulnerable because these things exist. But we destroy that, and this will wipe out all of the E group. Okay, E group is wiped out. Okay, now Century Eye. We've got to look at that. What does that look like? It looks like an eye. Uh, if I number them two to one. They're going to have a lot of things attack me. Uh, what if I destroyed it? How do I destroy it? If I destroy the base, maybe it'll destroy it? How many ships do they have here? 54. Okay, we're going to go with an elite group of bombers. Elite group of bombers here, guys. No, don't... Not like a... Oh, these are elite group of bombers. Never mind. Actually, it's only 2 to 1 that's a problem. So if they've got 54 ships here, then we can probably go in with 100 ships. And we're going to just go straight for that main base, which is hopefully not behind a shield. It is not. But it is right behind... Oh, shit, that's going to be one hell of a flight. Well... Uh, faint heart never destroyed an evil AI. Let's do it. Leroy Jenkins! Okay, these are only bombers. They can't stay around too long. Oh, fudge. Is there an, there's an ion cannon here, isn't there? Great, 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 great. This, this may not work. Just destroy it. We've got 88 ships left. They're not going to make it. They are not even going to get close to making it, in fact. They're trying. They're trying, 88, they're not going to make it. Okay, new plan. We're just going to destroy what we can. These guys aren't going to get out alive. 
Uh, in fact, I don't even think they're going to destroy any targets of opportunity. Okay, that was just a bad attack. Okay, so we just lost all our bombers, just right then. Which doesn't help our struggling economy. Uh, I'd love to attack Mercury, but... Oh, oh shit, it's coming back, it's coming back! Stay away from it, guys! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! <laughs> okay, it's going to Subject Zero. Well, that's alright. We don't have any scouts there at the moment. Uh, where have... I don't remember the key for scouts. Uh, last scouted. There we go. So we need one in Subject Zero. Anything that's not zero uh, is no good. So we need one in Subject Zero before we go much further that way. France is moving some forces to Burrito. Not quite sure why. They don't have much threat, so they can't be attacking. They're just scouting. That's a scout force. No, no, that's a patrol force. There's like 150... I don't even know what they're doing. But I reckon they're patrolling. So they're going from Burrito to Yi. What's in Yi? Where is Yi? Oh, here. Where are they going from there? They're going from Yi to YOLO. Okay, we've got a, a golem now. Brilliant. Let's have a look at this guy. Okay, we have now constructed this very powerful thing. The problem with a golem is it's constantly dying, so we're going to have to keep sh uh, protecting it, well, healing it. But we don't need that many guys. In fact, we probably don't even need that many guys. Uh, I thought I was to die. Oh, whoops, I think I just told the armored golem to blow itself up. I'm glad it didn't listen to me, because that would have sucked. Okay, so what... It fires flame waves. I wonder... Is this immune to flame waves? It is not. Okay, let's try something here. Okay, we're going to give this a designation of Unit 1, and its engineers are going to give a designation of Unit 2. So you can designate things much like you can in every other real-time strategy game. 1, 2, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Mercury and see if we can, uh... What is immune to a flame wave? Force fields don't appear to be immune to flame waves. Alright, I might want to move these forces from Mantis. Uh... Really? That's only 200 ships? Yeah, I don't believe that at all. Oh, there's some over there, okay. Another 80, okay. Well, those 80 ships are the patrol... For Mantis. And those AI are still scouting, or patrolling rather. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not too concerned. Okay. So these guys. Uh, I'm gonna send this guy in and see what he can damage. I think I just sent him the wrong way. I did, I just sent him into our own base. Okay, well that's fine. It's under my control. It's not a problem as long as I control it. You know, that's. That's what every anime has told me. It's okay if the giant robot goes nuts, so long as you control... No, wait. If it goes nuts, you can't control it. That's the problem. That is not when it's okay. Okay, so we're going to send in just the golem for the moment. Now, they're probably going to be rather concerned by this. But let's see what happens. So it comes in from Garen. Yeah, they're going to shoot at it. Okay, but we can do damage to shields. Great! It's at 98% health. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. The armored golem will destroy the shields for the fleet. We're going to... I might even want to keep this ion cannon. As crazy as it is to say. Uh, we've still got plenty of health on this golem. What we're going to do is we're just going to take out the... The eye is not counting down. Okay. That's cool. So what we're going to do is we're just going to destroy the guard posts. Uh, is this one immune to... No, it doesn't say it's immune to... It doesn't say it's immune to flame waves, but it does appear to be. That's fine. Uh, okay, can we destroy the eye? We've still got 95% health. It's okay. 
but this is the way I need to go. Okay, it does not seem to want to destroy what I want it to do. Oh, no, it is now. Okay, it's destroying the nuclear eye. Nuclear. And it's doing one million damage a shot and it's shooting four times every time. So, five times, in fact. So that's alright. We just gotta keep an eye on it, though. But we can't repair it while it's getting damaged, either. Okay, this is gonna be good. I am really glad I got this golem. Guard post is keeping this alive. Four. I've gotta destroy the guard post to destroy it. Well, why don't I do that? That might be faster, in fact. Oh, wait, because I can't destroy the guard posts. Oh, wait, it's shooting at the guard post, though. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, but it doesn't look like they're counter-attacking as of yet. Which is good. I was kind of afraid that we were going to try something like that, but they're not. And we're at 92% health. This is going to be expensive resource-wise to keep doing this. Alright. No, no, no. You've actually got to destroy it. Good work. Let's just destroy that thing as well. Great, okay. I hear another noise going on. I don't know what that noise is. There's only one planet being attacked at the moment, which is Mercury. Uh, wormhole guard posts I can't destroy. That's okay. Now, as soon as it goes into range, I expect to see some bullets. Bullets. Why is that... You know what? I don't care about that one anymore. I don't love that. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Garen. We've made some progress though, and that's what's important. Uh... Now, the reason I don't want to destroy that Iron Cannon, it'd be very easy to destroy it, but I'd rather have it, because it is the main approach to... It's the main approach to my mum. And if the attack at my mum fails... I'm going to have level 5 ships attacking me. It won't even ma- Oh, I'll have these ships. No, I have level 5 ships attacking me. This planet will not be protected by a level 3 ion cannon. Although, to be fair, that eye is more important. Dangerous. Because we're going to have multi-layers of defenses, I feel. But it's a very slow attack. In fact, if we can get... Where's, there was another golem somewhere as well, wasn't there? Where was that? Uh, stats. Objectives. There was another golem. Where was it? It was cursed golems. Uh, on Scoot. Oh. Well, Scoot's is where I'm going anyway, so... That's cool. Uh, it's just occurred to me that the number of engineers I have is insufficient. You know what? Let's get better engineers. Uh, we want better engineers. They're su no, they're economy. Level 2 engineers. Yes. And we'll build five of them for this guy. So they've got a... They repair so much faster. Like, uh, repair rate is... Almost 10 times as fast. And we're going to put 5 of them on this guy. Are they faster themselves? 220. They're about at the same speed. Your guy's job is now to repair. The, or to build the guys who are actually going to take your jobs. Good job. You've lost your jobs. Goodbye. But these guys. These guys are going to be the real stars now. Oh yeah. They're repairing this thing so much faster. So much faster that I've immediately run out of metal. And... Oh god, this is going to be so expensive. But this is how we're going to live. This is how humanity rebuilds. Using ancient technology that we do not understand. And I didn't right-click there, so let's... You know what, I might as well just destroy the... Can I destroy that? No, I don't want to destroy it. Okay, let's destroy the nuclear eye. Once that's destroyed... Because, I mean, this ship will destroy that nuclear eye fairly quickly. Uh, I don't think there's anything else shooting at it, really. Uh, we've got Devour Golem at Burrito. That's not one of our planets. Where is it going, though? Appears to go to Yi. Okay, that's fine. It'll wipe out their scouts. Or patrols. I keep saying scouts! Why do I keep saying scouts? They're not scouts. Anyway, uh... Let's send these forces to Garen. They're not really too... No, let's send them to Mantis, actually. 
And meanwhile, we've got a whole bunch of scouts. We're going to send them to Subject Zero. And we're going to see if we've got scouts that are all sitting at the same place, just in case. That's actually not the key I wanted to press. Uh, scouts and missiles, yes. Now we've got one scout ever except Nocturne, which is the main scout group moving. That's cool. And yeah, the nuclear eye is down to 47%. Meanwhile... So this is just my heavy hitter. This guy is just going to punch them in the face. And as long as I don't lose this, I feel like humanity may be able to rebuild successfully. This is the plan. Once the nuclear eye is down, then we can actually attack properly. Because then we're not worried about this planet being nuked. A planet that's nuked is essentially useless. When I say essentially, I mean you cannot build on it, there are no more resources, it's just a dead zone. Uh, and I don't particularly want to do that to a planet that is so close to, you know, a central approach. Uh, let's go to Beholder. Ah, Beholders, my favourite monster since I was like five. I'm not even joking. Did you ever play that game I, the Beholder? It was like a old SSI game. It was like a... It was like a 3D type game. Actually, uh... What was that game that came out? Uh, Legend of Grimrock. You know how it's like a first person perspective and you sort of turn and gr it's a grid sort of thing as well? That's what Eye of the Beholder was. And the main bo monster of it, the like final boss was a Beholder. And ever since I was watching my father play this game, and yes, I was actually watching my father play this game, this is one of those fo fake stories I make up about my father. This is a real one. A real fake story. No. This is a real story. Uh, my father played it and I loved the Beholder so much. Alright, so... We have pissed off the AI. In fact, we may want to back out of here now. And when I can colonize this planet, which may be tricky because of that ion cannon... Really, I just... I don't want to leave. I want to just stay here. I don't want to close my eyes. I do not want to fall asleep. And I do not, I repeat, I do not want to miss a thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, what I might do is I'm going to build a colony ship. Actually, what is a military colony? Military colony will teleport things everywhere and give me an attack bonus. Might not be something I want to do at Mercury, but it might be something I want to do... Actually, what I might put here is a logistical command station. Which will increase the speed... Yes, that's actually a good idea. So, Rose will be our main point of combat if for my mum. If my mum fails to... Oh, if Rose fails to contain them, they're going to come through Mercury, which will have a logistical station, which will slow the enemy down. That's basically where I start panicking, and we start trying to figure out how to deal with this. Okay, so logistical station install. Uh, install, 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 Dalek. I don't know why I'm installing Daleks. Actually, let's destroy that guard post. We're gonna lose. We lost a lot of ships here. In fact, wow, that is shooting me 150 times each time. So the engineer br uh, brigade is going to be needed very soon. But very soon we're going to get these uh, ion cannons and that's what matters. We've still got 210 ships. Each time that fires is taking out four. Guaranteed. And that slow firing gun is taking out a couple as well. Uh, I know it doesn't want to destroy that one. I guess it just needs to get really close sometimes. It's a sensitive ship. It just likes to get close to its enemies. Okay, and Ion Cannons, change sides! Change sides! Go on, change sides! Done! We have Ion Cannons. Oh, and my ships are now faster as well. Woo! <sighs> I really thought we'd get through that a lot easier, but we really didn't. But now, at the very least, we do have... We're building up our defensive line. We didn't really uh, explore much this episode, but 
That's okay. And the golem is still at 82% health, which is alright. Pew. Burn. Pew. Burn. Pew. Burn. That's the noise that it's doing. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, get the... Actually, let's get the guard post out of the way, because that can be destroyed faster. I think the burn sound is the fortress. No, it's actually the golem. The golem makes that sound. That's cool. Okay, the engineers are doing a good job. The engineers can't go and repair the golem yet because it's still in combat. But the combat has ended, and now that the sector is completely free... Whoa, look at those engineers. They just ran everywhere. Oh, because they're going to go help and build the mines. That's cool. Uh, except for the golem, guys. The golem's more important than the mines are. Oh, those mines. So anyway, next episode we're going to go attack Scoot. I imagine this will be a very easy fight. Uh, heck, we may even try, try to hack it. Because, you know, we can hack it. Yeah, I feel bad about that as well. Oh, let's build a space dock while I'm thinking about it. We will stop the production of here. I don't particularly need that those ships there anymore. And we're going to move these guys. So this is all my reinforcements. This is all my defenses at Jove. This is possibly a bad idea. I may want to clear up Burrito before I start going too far out. Uh, it's a thought. Anyway, I'm ending this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I will see you guys next episode where we attack Scoot. It is totally a chicken, by the way. See you next time, guys.